Hi there, this is Dave from Blue Sky Powered Paragliding. Today I'm going to show you how to change a Bendix gear on a FIM starter. So this is the most common starter on the Black Devil, Simonini, Compact Radial, and Redhead uh, Powered Paragliders. There's a bunch of other, other uh, motors that they have, have uh, this particular starter on, but nonetheless they are slightly different so don't assume that they're all identical. Um, each own engine has its own style. So the most common malfunction with a, a electric starter for a PPG is the Bendix gear. So the Bendix gear is the gear that is located right here in the front part of the starter. So luckily we can replace as an entire assembly. So with the Bendix gear, you can see I've got a couple different types of Bendix gears here. So this particular Bendix gear, you can see that the teeth were completely worn off. So this happens when uh, the uh, the electric start button gets stuck in the on position and once it destroys the teeth basically it fractures the rest of the Bendix gear and then your starter stops working. So that's one style. The second one right here is broken teeth. So everybody's done it. We're trying to kill the engine. We accidentally hit the start button instead and it engages in the starter. When it starts, when it hits the uh, the Bendix gear hits the, the starter crown, it'll basically fracture these teeth and they'll just fly right off. And the Bendix gear may still function, but it's not going to function as well. And then finally, the last one is when you see a star, the Bendix gear, and the Bendix gear appears operational. Everything about it looks good. It feels like it works. However, you have to really get in. You have to look very, very close on the start or on the uh, bearing that rides behind the teeth. So these teeth right here there is a throwout bearing directly behind it and the throwout bearing as the engine spins and uh, uh, throws the gear out it'll lock it in place so what will happen is you can actually rotate your starter around and usually you can find fractures along the outside and if you can't find them along the outside I'm gonna see if I can get in here nice and close where you can see it but you look you can look directly behind the teeth and you can find a fracture let me see if I can find one for you may have to look on a different star. Here we go. Here's a good example. So, behind the teeth, or where the teeth were, there we go. You can see there's a fracture right up there in the actual bearing housing. So, oftentimes, we'll be able to see the fracture, and you can see right here where it's oblong. This is where one of the throw-out bearings got lodged. So, anyway, the just because the uh, the starter is not functioning correctly it doesn't always mean that it's the Bendix gear but most of the time it is it is going to be the Bendix gear. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to disassemble it and then reassemble it so you can see how easy it is to to get into the uh, Bendix gear area. So the two tools we're going to need is a Phillips head screwdriver and we're going to need a seven millimeter uh, socket. So once you've removed the starter by removing these two bolts right here from your PPG what you're going to do is you're going to pop this cap up. You're going to take a seven millimeter socket driver and you're going to open this up. <clears throat> okay, so the little tiny nut will come off. Just set that off to the side. This entire positive post will come up and there's usually a, uh, a tiny gold washer that sits on top of this, but this particular starter doesn't have it. Okay, remove this plastic piece. It may need to be pried on gently. That just guards the positive post to prevent it from making contact with the negative housing. Flip the starter over. You'll see that there is one, two, three, and four, four screws here. They're almost always Phillips head screws on the newer, uh, the newer starters. The older ones have the option of Phillips head or flat head. So you're going to remove all four of these. On most PPGs, there will be a negative, uh, a negative post that will be sticking off of this. Uh, keep in mind that if yours is one of those, that you need to not only note the orientation of your, uh, your negative post, but you may also want to consider adding another post somewhere on your machine. The reason why is you're relying on, or that negative post is not only uh, the negative power for your, your electric start, but oftentimes it's also the negative for your kill switch. So if you had one of these screws vibrate out and it just happened to be the negative post on your, uh, on your starter, you will lose the ability to kill your engine. So it's always best to have a dual setup. All right, once I've taken those four screws out, I'm going to grab the back part of the housing here. I don't want to grab over here because I can pull the starter motor out and we don't want to mess around with anything in there right now. Okay, I pull this out. Usually you're going to have to pry on it a little bit, open it up. 
and then that will expose the Bendix gear. So this is a new Bendix gear. I actually just swapped it, but I want to demonstrate how to put one in. So had you pulled out the old one, when you pull it out, you're going to notice that there's something wrong with it. You're going to see pieces and parts. Oftentimes parts will just fall out into your hand. So what I do is I just check to make sure that the, uh, the gasket right here is good. I check this bearing or this bushing rather, make sure that there isn't a uh, flat washer sitting on top of it. I want to take that flat washer off. Um, on the inside of the other housing, we've also got another bushing right here and we want to check to make sure there's no flat washer again. The reason why is because the new, uh, the new Bendix gear will come with two flat washers in the package. So you just put one on top, one on bottom. I can put the Bendix gear right onto there, rotate it around, make sure that it freely spins and that the motor spins because your motor could be seized too. There's other problems. There's bearings in there and stuff that can go bad, but the, the most common is the Bendix gear. All right, take your old housing, put the old housing over the top, rotate it around until the positive post feeds through and just kind of seat it down. Once you've got it seated, before I tighten anything else up, you'll notice that our reverse order is different than how we assembled it. And the reason why is because of this little booger right here, the positive. So I'll take my little plastic guard, and if I don't have anything tight, I'll be able to put the plastic guard on much, much easier. And then take my positive post, slide that over the top. If you have the gold flat washer, it goes up on top. And then fin finally your nut, the gold nut goes up over the top. Okay, tighten that down. Now we can flip it upside down and then we'll take those four screws that we removed earlier and we'll insert those in. Now I spent a lot of time at the beginning of the video talking about the Bendix gears because there's so many different problems that you can run into that are all caused by the Bendix gears. But keep in mind if you have like a Solo 210 engine, for example, that doesn't have an adjustable belt on some of the older models and your starter appears to not be engaging. In other words, it engages and then the, uh, the engine doesn't spin over. Oftentimes, that's not the starter. It is the, uh, the belt isn't tight enough. So since we don't have a flywheel on our PPGs, we need the propeller and the tension on the propeller to uh, provide enough momentum for the engine to start. So don't always assume it's the starter, but opening it up is really a simple, less than 10 minute process, even for somebody that's inexperienced, considering there's not really that many moving parts. When you go to reassemble, I would highly advise using Loctite on all of the screws, nuts, anything you're putting in there. Uh, that way you don't lose anything in flight. And then finally, dead last, take your little plastic cap, stick that up over the top, that guards it. If you do lose the plastic cap, it's not a big deal. But now we're ready to rock and roll and we're all repaired. Once again, this is Dave from Blue Sky Powered Paragliding. Feel free to contact me via email or via telephone if you have any questions. I'm more than happy to answer. Thanks. Have a great day.